What is going on, everybody? How you guys doing? As you guys already know, we are going to be looking at some League of Legends and Rocket League benchmarks today. Uh, before we get into it, I want to just ask you guys real quick, what kind of videos are you guys interested in seeing? Do you guys like more tech-related videos, gaming videos, whatever it is, just let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it. Heading into Rocket League, all of my testing is going to be done at 1440 by 900 resolution, which is the maximum resolution for Rocket League on the MacBook Pro. At this resolution, I had all of the settings set to performance, and I got a solid 50 FPS for the majority of the time. But how far can we go? I turned the settings to quality instead of performance, and to my amazement, we still got an average of 43 FPS. And I think this is incredible because on last year's MacBook Pro, people had to turn down the settings just to get 30 FPS. While I realized that Rocket League has the most stable frame rate out of all the games I tested, in my opinion, to have fun and be good at it, you need a controller to play it. That wasn't my problem. I wanted to use my PS4 controller wirelessly with Bluetooth connection on the MacBook. There was too much latency in the connection. I thought I was just bad and I lost my touch, but then I realized that there was a response delay. I was able to solve the problem by using a wired connection to the Mac, but it's an inconvenience that the Bluetooth had this issue. Playing League of Legends on the Mac was a surprising experience for me. On the default setting of medium high quality at the maximum resolution of 2880 by 1800, I was getting about 65 FPS. I was satisfied with these results. Occasionally the frame rate would drop to 55 or spike up to 75, but it's not noticeable. I then wanted to see how far we could go, so I turned the quality to ultra, it left anti-aliasing off, and I got a very consistent frame rate of 55. Overall, with today's performance on Rocket League and League of Legends, I was completely surprised at how these two games performed. I went into it thinking that they would each only be able to play at medium-ish settings, but each game was able to play on maximum settings. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you want me to make a video on next. If you guys did enjoy the video, I ask you do please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.